Information provided by Intertrain Inc. represents school bus safety as of the date of video publication. Intertrain, OME, and OECM are not obliged to update or correct this information. Hello, friends. I am Soteria. I am what is called an intelligent assistant, and I will be your host. A waveform flashes. To our program, a guide to school bus safety and behavior expectations for junior students. Wait a minute. She adds her name. Soteria's guide to school bus safety and behavior expectations for junior students. That has a much better ring to it. Don't you agree? <laughs> a computer display pops up. Look at my amazing master control panel. From here, I will take you through each school bus safety module. But the fun doesn't stop there. Watch my entire program and pay close attention. At the end, you will receive a special website address. This website is always worth a visit. You never know what fun stuff might be waiting for you there. Does that sound good? I'm sorry, my microphone must be offline as I can't hear you. So I will ask you again. Does that sound good to you? Much better. Kids ride a bus. This video shows students how to ride the school bus safely. Learning how to behave safely in and around the school bus is an important responsibility. Younger students watch you and learn from what you do. You are their role model. For this reason, it is very important that you are setting the best example possible. It could save someone's life. Think of your school bus as a classroom on wheels. Remember, your school's code of conduct also applies to the school bus. Riding the school bus is a privilege and not a right. This means the privilege of riding on the school bus can be taken away if you do not follow the rules and behavior expectations. Remember that your school bus may have cameras on board to ensure student safety. Our video has six sections, each followed by a review section and fun activity to test your knowledge. Walking to your bus stop. Let's start by talking about walking to your school bus stop. Walking to your school bus stop is good for the environment and helps keep you healthy. Some of you get picked up in front of your home and some of you must walk to your bus stop. If you walk to your bus stop, you might walk where there is a sidewalk or where there is no sidewalk. If there is no sidewalk, you must always walk facing the traffic so that drivers can better see you. Walk on the shoulder of the road as far away from the road as you can. If it is snowed, be extra cautious. If you need to cross the road, you should cross at an intersection or designated crosswalk. Before you cross, look in all directions to make sure traffic has stopped. When walking, don't be a distracted pedestrian. Keep your electronic device in your backpack or pocket. Remember that during the morning and late afternoon, drivers are sometimes struggling with the bright sunlight, making it difficult for them to see you. If you cross in front of the school bus to get to your bus stop, here is what you must do. Wait until the bus is stopped and its crossing gate and stop arm are out. The driver will be holding up their hand in a wait position. The wait position means to wait on the sidewalk or the side of the road until the next signal is given. If all of the traffic is stopped, the driver will change their hand signal to an open hand with a thumbs up. The open hand with a thumbs up tells you that it is safe to begin crossing the road. Look left, right, and left again. If you hear the bus horn, stay on the sidewalk. Or if there is no sidewalk, stay on the side of the road. Look at the driver and follow their instructions. If the road is clear, cross to the other side. As you cross, the driver will guide you with their arm. Only cross the road if you must. Let's review. If there is no sidewalk, you must walk facing the traffic. If you must cross the road, do so at an intersection or designated crosswalk. Don't be a distracted pedestrian. Keep your electronic device in your backpack or pocket. If you must cross in front of the school bus to get to your bus stop in the morning, wait until the bus is stopped and its crossing gate and stop arm are out. The driver will be holding up their hand in a wait position. The wait position means to wait on the sidewalk until the next signal is given. If all of the traffic is stopped, the driver will change their hand signal to an open hand with a thumbs up. The open hand with a thumbs up tells you that it is safe to begin crossing the road. Look left, right, and left again. 
If you hear the bus horn, stay on the sidewalk. Or if there is no sidewalk, stay on the side of the road. Look at the driver and follow their instructions. If the road is clear, cross to the other side. As you cross, the driver will guide you with their arm. So Tyria displays a crossword. Challenge yourself by completing the first activity. Do you see the crossword puzzle? Press pause and complete the activity. Press play and see the correct answers. Unfortunately, Soteria will not be available to help you. I need to visit the doctor. I may have a virus. Achoo! Clues. 1. Where your device goes when you walk. 8 letters. 2. Distracts drivers. 8 letters. 3. Blank traffic if there is no sidewalk. 4 letters. 4. Where to cross. 12 letters. Answers. 1. Backpack. 2. Sunlight. 3. Face. 4. Intersection. Welcome back. Up next, how to stay safe at your school bus stop. Once you are at your bus stop, you must only stand where you have been told your bus stop is. Always be sure to respect your neighbor's property. Instead, watch the distance to see if your bus is coming. You will know it might be your bus when you see the bus with the amber-colored flashing lights. When you see your bus coming, line up in a straight line. Do not approach the bus until it has stopped completely and the door opens. If you are playing around at your bus stop, you might slip under the bus. If the weather is wet, icy, or if there are snow banks at your bus stop, you must be extra careful. Never stand on the snow banks and always keep a safe distance from the road. Don't become distracted by friends or by your electronic device. In line for the bus, a boy cackles at his phone. Another boy tells him to put it away and he does. Let's review. At your school bus stop, when you see your bus coming, line up in a straight line so that everyone can see. Most accidents happen when the driver is pulling away from the stop. Never stand on snowbanks and always keep a safe distance from the road. Don't become distracted by your electronic device. A word search pops up. If you found the first challenge fun, the second is even better. Do you see the word search? Press pause and complete the activity. Press play and see the correct answers. Again, Soteria will not be available to help you. I must tend to a spider that has become caught in my webcam. A five second countdown. The answers are circled on screen. Around a bus, a 10-foot perimeter flashes red. Remember the danger zone. The danger zone is an imaginary rectangle that shows you that it is dangerous 10 steps in all directions around the school bus. It is dangerous because the driver can't or may have difficulty seeing you if you are in the danger zone. You can see that the danger zone goes onto the sidewalk. Once the bus arrives, you must continue to be very careful. The danger zone includes directly in front of the bus, behind the bus, and alongside the bus near the tires. Never go behind or directly in front of the bus. Stay away from the tires and the side of the bus. Always remember and respect the danger zone when you are near the bus. Set a good example for the younger students that look up to you and don't play around in the danger zone. Let's review. The danger zone goes 10 steps all the way around the school bus. It is dangerous because the driver can't or may have difficulty seeing you if you are in the danger zone. Set a good example for the younger students that look up to you and do not play around when you are near the bus or inside the danger zone. If the weather is wet, icy, or if there are snow banks at your bus stop, you must be extra careful. Never stand on snow banks and always keep a safe distance from the road. Scrambled words pop up. You guessed it, it's challenge time. Eggs aren't the only things that get scrambled. Sometimes my internal language does too. Help me unscramble the following words. Press pause and complete the activity. Press play and see the correct answers. Here are the clues for the scrambled words. One, goes 10 steps around the bus. Two words, two, always be careful near these. Three, 
The driver can't or may have difficulty blank you if you are in the danger zone. 4. Never stand on these when you are near the bus. 5. Always keep a safe distance from the road. Answers. 1. Danger zone. 2. Tires. 3. Seeing. 4. Snowbank. 5. Distance. I got so hungry during the word scramble, I ate some bits and bites. Our next section gives you all the rules for staying safe when riding on the school bus. Set a good example for younger students while you are riding on the bus. The driver is in charge of the school bus. Listen to your bus driver and show them respect by doing what they ask the first time they ask it. Use a quiet speaking voice so that the driver can always be heard. Respect your fellow riders by not participating in bullying. Remember that bullying happens when there is an imbalance of power. When someone purposely or repeatedly says or does hurtful things to someone else. Bullying can occur one-on-one -on -one or in a group of people. Bullying can take many forms, physical, verbal, or even on social media. If you are bullied or if you witness bullying, you must tell the bus driver, your teacher, or another adult that you trust. Telling someone will begin the process of stopping the bullying. Once you sit down, stay seated for the entire ride. Even if the bus comes to a stop, do not change seats. Changing seats is unsafe, as the bus sometimes comes to quick stops. And it is distracting to the bus driver. Instead, concentrate on sitting properly. Remember, school bus seats are shock absorbing, but you must sit properly for them to work. This means sitting facing forward with your legs out of the aisle and your bag on your lap. Do not turn around in your seat or lean forward to speak to others. You must be seated properly in case the bus has to stop quickly. Do not open the windows unless you get permission from the driver. If your window is open, do not throw anything out of the bus. This is a very serious offense and could result in charges being laid by the police. Keep everything, including your arms and head, inside the bus. There are telephone poles, trees, and vehicles near the bus that could hurt you. And finally, do not lure others into the danger zone by trying to speak to them from inside the bus. Let's review. Show your bus driver respect by doing what they ask the first time they ask it. Use a quiet speaking voice so the driver can hear. Once you sit down, you must stay seated for the entire ride even if the bus stops. Sit properly. This means sitting with your legs forward and out of the aisle. You're back in your seat with your school bag on your lap. Do not snack on the school bus. Do not open the bus's windows without the permission of the driver. If you are bullied or if you witness bullying, tell the bus driver, your teacher, or an adult that you trust. Our next challenge is a lot of fun. We call it two for one. Two pictures will appear. Press pause and then try to guess what the word is. The word will be something that the two pictures have in common. Press play to reveal what the word is. Good luck from your friend Soteria. The first photo shows kids stealing a boy's bag and bullying him. The second shows a smiling bus driver. What word do both of these pictures have in common? The answer, respect. Did you guess the correct word? If not, what did you guess? Oh, I see. Well, that was a good guess too. Soteria gives you an A plus for your effort. Our next module is about evacuating the school bus in an emergency. Please listen carefully. In most situations, you will not need to evacuate as it will be safer to remain on the school bus. However, on rare occasions, an evacuation may be required. The bus driver will decide the way to evacuate the bus. However, if the driver is unconscious, an older student or you may have to decide the way to evacuate the bus. Helpers are assigned by the school bus driver and or your school at the start of the school year. If you are seated at the front door, you are the front helper. If you are seated on either side of the rear emergency door, you are a rear helper. The students seated in the middle of the bus are the middle helpers. 
Evacuation helpers play important roles in helping with evacuations. As an older student, it is your responsibility to help the younger students and those that may need extra help to get off the bus safely. Always tell them to go to the safe area and remain there with everyone else. A safe area is anywhere away from the bus and traffic, like the sidewalk, in a grassy area, near a tree, or in a field. If the danger is at the back of the bus, you must exit the bus through the front door. During a front door evacuation, the front helper gets off the bus and waits to assist at the front door. One of the rear helpers gets off the bus and one of them goes to a safe area nearby. The remaining rear helper helps to evacuate the rest of the students to the safe area, starting at the back and alternating sides. Once you get off, move away from the bus to the safe area and stay there. The driver is the last one off and checks the bus to make sure that no one is left on board. If the danger is at the front of the bus, you must exit the bus through the rear emergency door. To open the rear emergency door, simply pull the red handle up and push the door out. During a rear door evacuation, the rear helpers get off and wait at the back door. The front helper directs students to the rear exit, starting at the front of the bus, alternating sides. When exiting the rear door, crouch like a skier to avoid bumping your head and the rear helpers will assist you to the ground. Move away from the bus, go to the safe area and stay there. Remember to help the younger students and those that may need extra help to get off the bus safely. The driver is the last one off and checks the bus to make sure no one is left on board. A split evacuation is used when speed is important. This could happen if the bus were to break down on a railway track. This evacuation starts in the middle and uses the middle helpers who are seated in the middle of the school bus. A split evacuation uses both exits at the same time. The front and rear helpers take up their positions. Students begin to exit the school bus using both the front and rear exits. The middle helpers direct students to the rear exit, alternating sides, and to the front exit, alternating sides. As students leave the bus, helpers direct them to the safe area. If both the front and rear exits are not working, you can find window emergency exits on both sides of the bus. To open these windows, pull the red handle located alongside or under the window and push the window out. You can also find an emergency exit on the roof of the bus. This exit is opened by turning the red knob and then pushing the knob to open the hatch. Both the window and roof emergency exits should only be used as a last resort. Do not touch emergency equipment unless it is an emergency. Emergency equipment includes the fire extinguisher, first aid kit, rear emergency door, front door, window exits, and roof hatch. And finally, even in serious instances, there are times when you must not evacuate the school bus. For example, if there is a live wire touching the school bus, the driver may tell you to stay on the bus. It may be more dangerous outside of the school bus than on it. Let's review. If you must get off of your school bus during an emergency, the driver will tell you which method to use. You may evacuate through the front door, rear emergency exit, or both, depending on the situation. If the driver is unconscious, you may have to decide. A split evacuation is used when speed is important. Always move away from the bus to the safe area and stay there. Do not vandalize any part of the school bus, including the emergency equipment and emergency exits. Emergency equipment must function properly in an emergency situation. Guess the phrase. Our next challenge is a lot of fun. You will be given a clue. Next, a phrase will reveal itself one letter at a time. At the same time, a counter will record how many seconds have passed. Press pause when you have guessed the phrase and record your time to compare with friends. Press play again and see what the phrase was. The clue is think, split evacuation, four words, W, H, E, 
N Win S T E E D Speed When speed I S Is When speed is I M P O R T A N T When speed is important Soteria wonders what your time was. How fast did you guess the phrase? When Soteria needs to increase speed, I just order more chips. School bus loading and unloading zones are very busy. Always watch for traffic. Follow the instructions of the person in charge right away when you are in this busy area. When you get off of the school bus, move away from the bus and out of the danger zone immediately. Let's talk about getting off of the school bus. We get off the school bus, both at school as well as at home, at the end of the day. Remember, you must only ride your assigned bus and get on and off at your assigned stop. If there is an emergency and you are not on your bus, no one will know where you are. Normally, when your school bus stops, the driver activates the crossing gate, stop arm, and flashing lights. Do not stand up until the bus has come to a complete stop. Getting off the bus can be dangerous because the bus driver needs to continue to drive the school bus once you get off. Make sure you are safe on the sidewalk or on the side of the road far from your school bus. Always move out of the danger zone and away from the bus. Some of you must cross in front of your school bus to get to your home. If you are getting off your bus at a controlled intersection with traffic lights, you must cross with the pedestrian signals. The school bus cannot activate the stop arm and flashing lights at controlled intersections. If this is the case, you must cross with the pedestrian signals and not in front of the bus. If you are not crossing at a controlled intersection, here are the steps you should take to stay safe when doing so. Always follow all of the rules when crossing the road even if you are in a hurry. Take 10 steps forward so that you are past where the crossing gate is and so that the driver can see you. Turn and look at the bus driver. The driver will be holding up their hand in a wait position. The wait position means wait until the next signal is given. If all of the traffic is stopped, the driver will change their hand signal to an open hand with a thumbs up. The open hand with a thumbs up tells you that it is safe to begin crossing to almost the middle of the road. As you cross, the driver will guide you with their arm. When you get the signal from the driver, cross to almost the middle of the road and then stop. You must stop, look, and listen for vehicles that might not have stopped for the school bus. You must look left, right, and back to your left again. If you hear the bus horn before you cross, you must wait. Look at the driver and follow their instructions. The horn and wait signal means that the driver has seen the danger. You must wait, look at the driver, and follow their instructions. If you don't see any danger, you can cross to the other side and go home. A girl crosses in front of the bus across the road. Let's review. When you are in the school bus loading zone, do what the person in charge tells you to do right away. When you get off of the bus, move away from the bus and out of the danger zone immediately. We have come to our review on how to cross in front of the school bus. This is also our final challenge. You will see five steps in random order. Press pause and put them into the correct order. Press play again to see if the order you placed them in was correct. By the way, here is a fun fact that perhaps only those of you who got all the way to the end of this video will know. Soteria is the Greek goddess of safety. Now, best of luck. 1. At the driver's signal, cross to the middle of the road then stop. 2. Look and listen for cars that didn't stop. 3. 10 steps past the crossing gate so the driver can see you. 4. The driver will change their signal to open hand with thumbs up. 5. The bus horn sounds before you cross. Wait, look at the driver and follow their instructions. Go to your destination. The order is 3, 4, 1, 2, 5. 
Exiting the bus, a boy walks up his front steps. Soteria would like to thank you for your time and attention today. Remember, you may be the older students in your school. The younger students look up to you and copy your behavior. You are their role model. For this reason, you must always set the best example possible. It could save someone's life. Soteria's display power is down. Being safe around or on the school bus is something you must all be dedicated to. Think about safety every time you ride the school bus. Dr. Seuss once said, You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. Soteria's Guide to School Bus Safety and Behavior Expectations for Junior Student. www.bussafety.ca Written, produced and directed by Intertrain. Executive Producer, Ontario Education Collaborative Marketplace. Funding provided by Ontario. Copyright 2017 to 2022, OECM. This video was created at the request of the OECM with funding from the OME. Information provided by Intertrain represents school bus safety as of the date of video publication. Information has been provided in accordance with industry standards and law. Although Intertrain ensures that the information is accurate, errors do occur. Accuracy cannot be guaranteed. In no event shall the OME, OECM, or Intertrain be liable for any direct, indirect, special, incidental, consequential, punitive, aggravated, or any other damages arising out of or in connection with the reliance on reproduction or distribution of this video, or for any inaccuracy within materials, information, or recommendations in the video. This disclaimer of liability shall apply to the fullest extent permitted by law.